Oh. Oh, no way. I hope he does a little more than that. It's a big celebration. <laughs> It's not typical of uh, the Japanese players to celebrate that much. That's a 10 out of 10. I mean, the way he started, the way he finished, you've got the golden ticket. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all well. Welcome to the third and last episode of the Bab Battle. We will be crowning a uh, champion today, and I am pleased to be joined by one of the best up-and-coming player of our generation, Holger Rune from Denmark, 18 years old. I'm happy that he's joining for the last episode. Hello, this is Holger Rune, and I'm really happy to join Felix watching these challenges, and I'm really excited to see what they can do. These guys have been impressive the whole season, so please don't forget to vote when you watch a video, and we'll crown a champion later at the of uh, this challenge all right first contender Holger have you tried this challenge before yeah I actually got aced by that one one time you know it's a tricky surf you don't know why it's coming and it's, yeah. I think it's a good question in a real match no actually in practice I got it in practice and uh, oh, in practice. it went all over Instagram right. let me take a selfie and where did you think of this one? I think it's a pretty good serve and where it lands is, is a great spot. You don't know it's coming and it's so short, so if you're staying far back, it, it's tough to reach. I agree. I think it was a good serve. You being yeah, the guest, I'll, I'll let you choose the first grade. I'll go eight and a half. Eight and a half. That's great. Yeah, let's see the next contender. He's been good all season, I have to say. The last challenges, he was very good. Oh, oh way. <laughs> That's really good. I like the fact that, you know, he came up with his own thing. It's creative, two good trick shots. I would give a nine. Yeah, I do 100%. I think it's a great camera angle. You can see where it lands and uh, it's two good trick shots in a row. Okay, a little bit deeper. I like this one a little bit less than the first one because he doesn't hide a trick shot. I think it's a bit too obvious. We can all see that yeah. he's going to make yeah. it. I mean, of course it's good to make it. It's not an easy shot, but might be too yeah. easy in the match. I think around 7, 7.5 is good. Okay, let's go with 7.5. All right, first challenge done. I'm sorry. It's not typical of uh, the Japanese players to celebrate that much. Yeah, I agree with that one. I think, you know, he's he seems very polite and don't want to scream too much. Yeah, the assignment of the challenge was to be a little bit louder. I would give it seven and a half because I feel like it could come more from the inside. All right, 7.5 it is. Few minutes later. I hope he does a little more than that. It's a big celebration. You gotta give credit for the effort. Give him a little bit more than horror, so maybe eight. A lot of effort into this one, yeah. I agree, it's an eight. It's a good one. I've never tried to flip my racket behind my back like this. It's interesting. It's interesting, but it's not enough, right? I think you have to be a little bit more passionate. The flip, it's creative, but you gotta give something to the fans, you know? You have to remember, you're playing on a big stadium here. Maybe 6, 6 6.5, 7. For me, 6. .5. You have the final, final choice, 6.5. Our last challenge, let's see it. Starting with Horu. Oh no. He missed early. And I just lost control. With the technique, taking the ball so high up on the racket, it's really tough to control. Yeah, Holger and I agree, definitely could have done a lot more with the minute that he had, and he missed uh, quite early. I think I counted nine. I'm sorry, Horu, but that's a six out of 10. Okay. Great start. <laughs> I love the start too, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It's tough to keep it on that part of the racket. It is. I mean, already impressive. I think he already broke my record there. For sure. Mine too. I mean, I'm not sure how the last contender will do, but he definitely could be our winner. It's got to be a 10 almost. Yeah, I think it will be. He's really been impressive in all the challenges, I'm telling you, like the last few weeks. Oh. Wow, that's impressive. Well, that's a 10 out of 10. That's amazing. <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, the way he started, the way he finished. Uber, you've got the golden ticket. Okay, our last contender. Ooh. 
he's fighting to keep it. Yeah, it's a good effort. Fighting to keep it in. Ooh. I actually really like that one. There was a couple of good saves there. That's really good. I think like 8.5, 8 9. I think even a 9 because of his effort was so great. And yeah. he's in a good mood as we all can see. So I think he deserves a 9. Great stuff. Uh, 9 out of 10 for Giovanni. And I want to thank you, Holger, for joining me today. That's what concludes uh, the bad battle. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And again, don't forget to vote before the 28th of December. That's the date when our final champion will be crowned. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all very soon.